Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build, price, and option a 2019 Lincoln MKC Reserve, as well as learn about the features and configurations. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Refreshed and enhanced, the 2019 Lincoln MKC Premium Compact Crossover SUV offers plenty of comfort and equipment at competitive prices. The 2019 Lincoln MKC receives an upgrade, the most visible sign being the new grille. It has the fresher family look first introduced with the Lincoln Continental flagship sedan. Safety features have also been updated, adding pedestrian detection to the forward collision mitigation function. The Lincoln MKC is offered in four trims for 2019. Standard, Select, Reserve, and Black Label. Even the standard models are equipped with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility, 18-inch wheels, and premium audio. Super Luxury Black Label models receive the full treatment with designer interior themes, annual vehicle detailing, car washes on demand, and concierge services with exclusive restaurant booking. Two engines are on tap for the 2019 Lincoln MKC Reserve and its other configurations with a 2-liter turbo 4 and optional 2.3-liter turbo 4 making their way under the hood. The engines produce 240 horsepower and 285 horsepower, respectively. Front and all-wheel drive are offered across the range, but MKCs equipped with the 2.3-liter engines are only available with all-wheel drive. Interior finishes, even with a few stray budget materials thrown in, are excellent. The front seat experience is one that rivals those in vehicles at much higher price points. Rear seats, while nicely appointed, suffer from the MKC's smaller stature overall. The 2019 Lincoln MKC will never be accused of being cavernous, but for small families, first-time luxury buyers, or empty nesters, the small Lincoln may be just right, with rear seats folded down, up to 53.1 cubic feet of cargo space is available. Thanks to excellent standard features, the MKC Select, which starts at $36,750, delivers a lot of value for the price. Don't get me wrong there. But if you want the MKC at its best, you'll want to get at least the reserve. It comes with some desirable extras such as a panoramic sunroof and a hands-free liftgate. It also gives you the option for the upgraded engine, right? That 2.3 liter engine that makes 285 horsepower and that comes with all-wheel drive. Now, so if you go with that, you get that all-wheel drive and you get the adaptive suspension, which helps improve the MKC's ride quality and handling. Okay, so let's jump into this build and price review of our 2019 Lincoln MKC Reserve. The first thing I want to do is let's jump here into the gallery and look at our exterior colors. Let's check out our exterior colors for our 2019 Lincoln MKC. And then let's check out our interior colors for our 2019 Lincoln MKC. We can see that this first exterior color is known as Baltic <clears throat> Sea Green. Now, the resolution on this image isn't that great so it doesn't really do this color any favors that's for sure what's this color here this one's known as burgundy velvet metallic tinted clear coat so again another dark color not really done any justice by this resolution but we can see the basic overall color then we have an infinite black metallic there is also a iced mocha metallic which mm, i kind of like that one i also like the black as well there's this Rhapsody Blue Metallic. There's a Magnetic Gray Metallic. Here's a Ruby Red Metallic Tinted Clear Coat, they call it. Here's a White Metallic. I think that looks nice. That's going to have that extra. The metallic just basically means that when the sunlight hits it, the paint has those metallic uh, or those sparkly flecks and, and, and specks in there. And so you can see that. That's what metallic is. Lastly, for the exterior colors for our 2019 Lincoln MKC Reserve, uh, there's an Ingot Silver. So I like the silvers okay. I like the black. And I was kind of partial to this uh, 
to this uh, white platinum metallic tricoat, I think looks pretty good. All right, let's check out the interior colors. Looks like there's four. Let's check them out. Okay, this first interior color for the 2019 Lincoln MKC is known as Cappuccino, right? We can see it's a light shade of tan, and we can get an overall view of what that looks like right here. And it's got a brown steering wheel and steering column, which just isn't very attractive to me. All right, let's move on, see what the other colors are. There's, of course, an ebony, which looks much better. Much, much, much better. I like that. Looks good. Now, that would look good with that, uh, the, the, either a black paint, a black on black Lincoln MKC wouldn't look bad, or that uh, white metallic. That wouldn't look bad. This uh, this white metallic here would not look bad. All right, let's check out these other ones. What color is this? This is espresso. So you still have the dark seats, but now you have some tan on the door panels. And, you know, all back here on, you know, the other pieces of the car. So really just the seats and the carpet is black. Now what do we got here? This is Rialto green. That's certainly not going to work. And that's probably a color that probably comes with, oh, a, that seems like a black label kind of color to me, this Rialto green. So I think we like the, the basic ebony, the basic black with maybe our white platinum metallic uh, or, or possibly just the infinite black, just, a, just an all black MKC would be nice as well. Let's check out some exterior photos. There's 19 real fast, so we'll just run through them real quick. Uh, there are There is some drop-down information, a view details. They'll give you a little snippet of information about the vehicle being shown. But seeing that we're going to take a look at the features after we look at this gallery, it's sort of kind of redundant to, to take a look at those sometimes. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Today, we're not going to. Uh, we're just going to run through these photos. There's quite a few of them. And we just want to see the design. They're really just kind of showing us the design. Uh, here they're probably talking about the lighting. And we can, we can figure that out on our own because, like I said, they're going to talk about all these same things again when we get over to the features. All right. I think we've seen enough of what the exterior looks like. Let's go take a look at the interior. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Um, here's the interior for our 2019 Lincoln MKC. Reserve. And, of course, they're showing other configurations here. They're showing some ambient lighting. And I really like the whole ambient lighting thing uh, that automakers are doing now. I think that's real cool. I like, the, I like that soft lighting. Here they're ta probably talking about their high-end stereo system. Surely, because that's that center speaker. Here's a nice shot of their infotainment. I don't really like the color. I don't really like the brown coloring of their backdrop. They could have made that a little more mm, better. I can see over here that the car has a push button transmission. We can see it right over here. Here's reverse, neutral drive, uh, sport. I'm assuming that's what the S might mean. Here we can see we've got a link to apps, navigation, phone, climate control, audio, settings. Right, you got Pandora. Lincoln Way is probably the Lincoln app. AccuWeather. I think AccuWeather is pretty cool, actually. Um, all right, let's keep it moving. All right, here's a nice shot. Oh, maybe you can change the background because this is black back here. So that looks good. Or maybe it just depends on the color of your interior. I really don't know. At any rate, looks pretty good. There's that panoramic roof with the seats folded down. All right. Okay, cool. We're going to run through a few more of these real fast. And, uh, yeah, one more here. Okay, let's move on. Let's go check out some features, like starting with the performance features for our 2019 Lincoln MKC Reserve. Let's check those out. First thing they want to tell us about is that optional twin scroll turbocharged 2.3 liter engine. We already know that when you get this engine, it, you only get it with all-wheel drive. It makes 285 horsepower, but it also makes <clears throat> excuse me, 305 pound-feet of torque. That's really, really great. It's got direct injection. It's got variable camshaft timing, and it can tow up to 3,000 pounds when properly equipped, this Lincoln uh, 2019 Lincoln MKC. The base engine is the 2-liter engine that makes 245 horsepower. They don't even bother to tell you the torque on this one. But you can get this engine standard. This engine is with front-wheel drive only. But this engine can also TOO 
be optioned with all-wheel drive. It also has direct injection. It also has variable camshaft timing. Uh, and they don't say anything about towing with this bad boy, so you probably, don't, you probably don't tow with the base engine. And then it seems like no matter whether you get the 2-liter engine or the 2.3-liter engine, you're going to get the 6-speed select shift automatic that also has wheel-mounted paddle shifters. All right, so that's the deal with that. Take note of the fuel that says how many miles you have left to empty. I like that feature. I don't know if every new car a lot, uh, does this, but uh, quite a few do, and I really like that feature. How many miles do I have left till uh, E? How far can I go before I need to go to the gas station kind of deal? I've never really been one to use cruise control, honestly, in all the years that I've been driving a vehicle, but it's a big deal. Apparently, enough people do that you know it's a technology feature I see over and over and over and over again. Adaptive cruise control. Available driver activated adaptive cruise control operates just like normal cruise control with one exception. Its sensors can detect traffic slowing ahead and automatically slow your car to maintain the preset distance you've selected. When traffic has cleared, your car can speed back up to that set speed. So that's pretty cool. Also, apparently there's a four collision warning with brake support that's included with this active cruise control. And it can alert you if it senses a potential collision that might happen with the car in front of you. Uh, a pulsing light, which, stimulate, which simulates brake lights, flashes on the windshield. If you don't react immediately, <laughs> which, man, you might not. Probably, that's just going to probably scare you. The brakes will pre-charge and increase brake assist sensitivity, provide full responsiveness when you do brake. So it's not an active system. All it's going to do is pre-charge the brakes. It'll never actually brake for you. So you could still hit said object if you don't respond in time here they're just going over that in all-wheel drive almost every manufacturer calls their all-wheel drive something 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 intelligent all-wheel drive uh, this uses sensors to con constantly monitor the traction and it's going to send power and everything and torque to the wheels that uh, that need it the most you know and and this that there and the other thing before wheel slip can occur we all get the deal on what the benefits of all-wheel drive are. And the benefits are both in wet and uh, inclement weather. Dry and inclement weather, I should say. And we know that this all-wheel drive system is optional. That's why they have the word available at the very as the very first word in that paragraph. So apparently, the Lincoln 2019 Lincoln MKC Reserve has active noise control. And this is going to reduce unwanted noise in the cabin. Microphones monitor the sound profile of the cabin of the interior, which is then replicated and inverted to create an opposing acoustic wave through the speakers. When the opposing wave meets the original sound wave, they cancel each other out. Smart. I like it. Uh, I've seen this technology starting to happen. I think it's pretty cool. If I had a brand new car, I probably would like this active noise control. It's pretty cool. The 2019 Lincoln MKC can be had with an adaptive suspension that can monitor and adjust itself. Uh, these sensors can detect body movement along with steering and brake dynamics in milliseconds, right? And you can select their, uh, you can actually select the operating mode of this suspension. There's, there's three modes, comfort, normal, and sport. So yeah, that's the setup. Surely this adaptive suspension is not standard. All right, it's not standard. We know that when you get the all-wheel drive, it does come with the adaptive suspension, however, I believe. Our 2019 Lincoln MKC Reserve has electric power-assisted steering. Uh, and that's been the wave. Every manufacturer these days, everybody's kind of gone away from the pump driven with a pulley and a belt uh, power steering. Everybody's got some version of electric power-assisted steering now. So, and that's pretty cool. It, it could have a it could have a, a light feeling around town and have a firmer, stiffer steering wheel feel when you're up on the highway. Like you want that 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 stiff feel, that feedback you want on the steering wheel. So sometimes electrical power assist can be good. Other times you hear about it and and nobody likes it. So, okay, what's this? Advanced track with roll stability control. Uh, this is an electronic stability control system. Uh, and it can enhance control in conditions such as snow, rain, and gravel. Uh, roll stability control 
provides enhanced side slip control and delivers electronic vehicle rollover stability, right? And then this whole thing uses a gyroscopic sensor to monitor roll rate and vehicle roll motion at least 100 times every second. And this helps determine when and how it will apply the brakes to help keep all four wheels firmly planted. This thing's, you know, these new vehicles are constantly thinking, aren't they? They're constantly thinking. Okay, so we learned about the performance features for our 2019 Lincoln MKC Reserve. Let's now learn about the technology features for our 2019 Lincoln MKC Reserve. After that, after we get done with these technology features, here's how it's going to work. Let me give you a little bit of a syllabus, so to speak. Uh, um, we're going to take a look at some design features next after we get done with these technology features. And then we're actually going to be ready to do our build and price of our 2019 Lincoln MKC Reserve. And if you actually like the way I build and price and spec the vehicle out, you'll be able to download the build summary in the description below. All right, so let's move on. We're getting ahead of ourselves, or I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's talk about technology features. Because a Lincoln is a Ford, it has a Sync 3 with Waze and Lincoln plus Alexa integration. They would call it Ford plus Alexa if it was a Ford website. But the Sync 3... Ford, as you might know, is the parent company to Lincoln. So the Sync 3 is uh, their easy-to-use, responsive, voice-activated technology. This is basically their whole infotainment system. If you have the Sync 3, you've got all the little technology. You've got all the music tech, all the things you want uh, for your infotainment in a modern, brand-new vehicle. You've got such things as Apple CarPlay, of course. You know, send and receive calls. Uh, check your vo uh, text messages, it'll read them off to you, display them, uh, your songs, you can use the maps, turn-by-turn -turn directions, traffic, travel time, all that kind of stuff. Then there's an available upgraded stereo system. They call it the THX2 Certified Audio System. doesn't have a cute name, but it puts out 700 watts of power, and it has 14 strategically placed speakers, including three two-way front slot speakers, two individual rear door tweeters, and uh, yeah, that's the upgraded sound system for the 2019 Lincoln MKC. Here they're showing us the navigation system with Sirius XM traffic and travel link. It says the available, so this is an option, the available navigation system includes a six-year prepaid Sirius XM traffic and travel link subscription. And then after that, I guess you're on your own. Uh, it does things like give you detailed tra traffic, points of interest, gas stations, sports scores, all that stuff. I've never been a big fan of any of that Sirius XM. Sometimes it does sound um, interesting, though. Apparently, we're on Doug's iPhone, too, FYI. Well, they talked about Android, uh, I mean, Apple CarPlay. Usually, they talk about Android Auto directly after that, but they skipped it over. But here it is, Android Auto. It basically does the same stuff that Apple CarPlay does. Honestly, it does the same stuff. They just use Google instead of Apple stuff, like the Apple Map, right, or whatever they call it, iMaps or whatever it is. Uh, if you're using the Android Auto, then you're using Google Maps and the Google Music and all that. You get where I'm going. So that's the deal there. Android Auto is also bundled into this interface. Every vehicle manufacturer has an app. Lincoln apparently is no different. They call it Lincoln Connect. Oh, it says Lincoln Connect, which, yeah, because there's a little TM there, with Lincoln Way app. So with this, you can, with this app, you can search for reserve and pay for parking, search for nearby fuel prices, send directions directly from your phone to the navigation, to that Sync 3 navigation in the vehicle. You can also use this app to track your vehicle's location, remotely access vehicle features, uh, you can start the car, you can lock and unlock the doors, you can check your vehicle status, including how much fuel the vehicle has in it. Uh, you can actually schedule specific times to remotely start your vehicle. Wow! So it's ready to hit the road as soon as you are. Huh! That one I have not heard before. That's super cool. So apparently here, they're talking about the Lincoln plus Alexa. Now, they've done a really good job of explaining exactly what it does. A lot of times, uh, I read this, and they don't do so great of a job trying to explain to you what it actually does. Lincoln's done a great job. They're letting us know that uh, with this, you can request to hear news stories, play music, add things to your Amazon shopping list. See, 
Yeah, they're doing a really good job. Update personal calendars and use voice controls to operate smart home devices, including your garage door, thermostats, lighting. So you could be on the road getting your home all dialed in before you even get there. So now they've done a great job explaining it. And honestly, I've done a lot of videos for a lot of manufacturers, and they're not the first ones to integrate Alexa into their, their vehicles. Lincoln's done a very good job explaining it in a very little in a little amount of space. Okay, let's find out about some driver assist technology that our 2019 Lincoln MKC Reserve uh, has. Let's find out. So you've seen this familiar technology. Well, it's becoming more and more familiar. Active Park Assist with Park Out Assist. So this thing will help you park your vehicle. But what it also do is help you get out of that parking spot as well. That's pretty cool. And this is an available feature. It is not a standard feature. It's an available feature. Another available driver assist feature is lane keeping system. It sounds exactly what it is. If this, if this system's on, it'll help keep you in your lane. If it, if it thinks you're drifting out of your lane unintentionally, um, it can... Uh, it can warn you through a subtle vibration in the steering wheel. All right. Additional settings allow the system to apply steering torque that helps to keep you to help steer you back. So it's actually even an active system. So it can even steer you back into the lane. So that's the lane keeping assist system. It's also an option. It's not standard on the vehicle. Now sometimes things that aren't standard option are standard on the base model become standard higher up. We'll double check to see if, these, uh, if this equipment is standard on our uh, reserve line. Now, probably if you got the black label, it's probably all bundled in there. But we'll find out if it is on our reserve line. I'd be surprised if it wasn't, actually. We already read about this one, automatic emergency braking, right? Uh, it'll warn you, but it won't actually uh, apply the brakes for you, right, if it senses potential collisions. Uh, it'll all, the best it'll do is pre-charge the brakes for you, right? And, and flash a, a, a brake flash on the windshield to let you know that you need to probably stop right now. One of my favorite safety technologies, uh, Bliss with cross-traffic alert. I love it. I love it. So this is your blind spot monitor with cross-traffic alert. So you, as you can see in the, in the right here, it's showing vehicles in your blind spot. It'll warn you about vehicles in your blind spot. In addition, the cross-traffic alert you know, you're backing out in the parking lot at grocery stores, stuff like that. This thing's also paying attention there. If it detects vehicles approaching from up to 15 yards away, it sends an audible warning, a visual display in the side view mirror, and a signal in the message center. Pretty cool. Oh, and this uh, Bliss with Cross Traffic Alert, it's an available feature. It's not standard. Again, maybe it might be standard and bundled in with our reserve, but maybe not. We might have to still buy a package to get all this safety if we want it. What is standard, however, is a rear view camera. Thank you. Right? When activated, when you put it in reverse, hey, we've all been in cars with rear view cameras. We get it. You put it in reverse, you got the rear view camera. It's got park guidance lines. Do they turn when you turn the steering wheel? I'm not really sure. Uh, let's see. It can also be helpful assistant. Let's find out. Now, they don't really say whether or not these guidance lines turn. I'd be, they might not. But at any rate, you have a standard rear view camera. Here, they're just letting us know, hey, there's LED headlamps, signature LED accents, frame the sculpted LED headlamps. They create powerful path of light. They don't say that it's an available feature or anything like that. So we're kind of led to believe that every 2019 Lincoln MKC just has these lights. I'm guessing. They don't say. Now, what's this? Lincoln Drive Control, a collection of ride-enhancing technologies include adaptive suspension, which allows you to select from one of three available modes, right? Normal sport comfort. Or, and once a mode is selected, the adaptive suspension utilizes an array of sensors to monitor and adjust itself. Right, gotcha. All right, well, let's talk about the design for the 2019 Lincoln MKC. And after we get done talking about design, well, then we'll be ready to do our build in price. Okay, one of the design features for our 2019 Lincoln MKC Reserve Auto fold power side view mirrors. The 2019 Lincoln MKC features available, right? I mean, it's not an option. It's an option. Auto fold power side view mirrors. These mirrors unfold when you get into the MKC 
and fold in after you park and lock the door. So they just fold all the time. You don't have to do anything. They're already just doing it. This is all. There is also a switch on the driver's door that folds the mirrors toward the vehicle to help avoid hitting an object while you're parking. So there is still a button that you can manually control if you want to. I talked about this, the ambient lighting. That's a design feature, of course. Select the hue to match your mute of available, right? Not standard. But they got a lot of available. They're going to nickel and dime you to get the stuff that you want out of this car. Available ambient lighting provides seven color choices. Light emits from the front console cup holders, door release handles, front and rear footwells, and foot door storage pockets. Doesn't say anything about the people in the back, though, does it? This is cool. Approach detection, right? They're saying that this thing's parked and it's waiting for you. From up to eight feet away, long as, you, when it, as soon as it senses your key fob, right, and exterior light brightens, door handle pockets glow with soft lighting uh, and all of that. A Lincoln logo welcome mat illuminates the entrance. We can see that right here. That's pretty cool. Once you're in the car, available ambient cabin lighting glows warmly. That's kind of nice. That's a nice uh, upscale touch. Another design feature for our 2019 Lincoln MKC is a panoramic Vista roof. Now, it's an available roof. It's not, an, I'm sorry, it's not standard. Uh, but uh, both first and second row passengers, they'll have a whole, they'll, they have a whole roof. They got a whole roof to, to check it out. Uh, and a power sunshade as well to keep your vehicle cool when the temperature heats up. Of course, there's a hands-free lift gate, or thank goodness, there's a hands-free lift gate. Uh, all you need is your key fob in your pocket or purse, and you can simply kick your foot under the rear bumper, and the available, right, the optional hands-free lift gate will lift and open up the cargo area so you can put your stuff in. Now, you can press a button on the lift gate, or you can kick your foot under the bumper again, and the lift gate closes smoothly. Now, that'll look a little odd that after you've got your parcels and everything in there, that you go kicking underneath the bumper. I can see somebody watching you from their car thinking, why is that person just kicking under their car for no reason, right? Maybe use the button is what I'm saying. Another, and here's some interior design features. I guess those were exterior design features we had we just gone through. Now Lincoln has moved on to showing us a few, well, it looks like five um, interior design features, like the leather wrap steering wheel, an available hand stitch. Walsdorf leather hailing from the Alpine region of Central Europe. Wow, that's involved just to put some leather on the steering wheel. And let's talk about more leather. Bridge of Weir leather. The available Bridge of Weir deep soft leather trim heated and bucket seats were created specifically for Lincoln. This leather goes through a 16-hour softening process considerably longer than those used for most automotive leathers. Another interior design feature of our 2019 Lincoln MKC Reserve is that it has a peaceful space. And that interior noise, and that is due largely to that active noise control that we were reading about. And apparently there's some acoustic laminated front door glass as well. And there's uh, pedestal style door mounted mirrors that are also designed to minimize wind noise. So Lincoln's done a few things to make it quiet in the cabin. Another interior design feature, surely these are optional, heated and cooled front seats. That's in addition to soothing the touch of that deep, that wear, deep, soft leather. Now we can have heated and cooled front seats, right? No, when you get these bridge of wear, deep, soft leather seats, uh, they come standard with the heating and available cooling. Interesting. They've really got how they're bundling all this stuff together. Very interesting for this, for this MKC. And I don't know how I feel about it. It's a lot of this stuff is nickel and dime. You're going to have to get packages to get all the stuff that you want. We'll see what they offer up, though, on the reserve, however. <laughs> and then speaking of packages, here's a climate package. The available climate package makes the interior even more inviting while helping to manage the exterior elements. The package includes heated rear seats, a heated steering wheel, auto high beam headlamps, rain-sensing windshield wipers, and a windshield wiper de-icer. Wow, there's no shortage of wheel options, <laughs> is there? Look at that. 
For 2019, <clears throat> the Lincoln MKC offers a number of exciting and eye-catching wheel options. Standard and available options include, wow, you can go all the way up to 20-inch wheels. I, I went all the way up to over here. 20-inch uh, wheels, ultra-bright machined aluminum with ebony painted pockets. Optional on reserve all-wheel drive. There we go. That's us. Beautiful. Beautiful. Here, real fast, because we're almost done. We're almost ready to do our build and price. They're talking about the sculpted exterior on our 2019 Lincoln MKC. Uh, the MKC blends the best traits of a sport crossover with the refinement of a luxury sedan. It begins with the redesigned Lincoln Signature Grille, uh, framing dramatic high-intensity discharge headlamps with signature LED accents. Right, got it. Okay, now we're ready to do our build our own. We're going to be looking at the reserve here. The 2019 Lincoln MKC Reserve starts life at $40,625. Okay, so we've got our Lincoln MKC Reserve selected. It starts off standard with that 2-liter engine. Now, I don't see an option for us to do the 2.3-liter engine, but we know that if we select all-wheel drive, it should come standard with the 2.3-liter engine. Let's find out. Yeah, there it goes. Now it gives us the option for the 2.3. Now we'll take the 2.3-liter engine. Uh, the net price keeps jumping around, but we don't really pay a bunch of attention to that. We, we just build and spec out the ones we want. So we got the all-wheel drive with the 2.3 liter engine. Let's move on to exterior. Okay, now it looks like we have some paint colors to select. You know what? I kind of like the uh, the black, and I was just thinking about leaving it just in this infinite black. Why not? We're going to do the black interior with the black exterior. So let's do that. All right. Oh, they do have some exterior packages, however. So let's check those out. There is a towing package. I'm not going to tow with this vehicle. There's a technology package, and this probably gives us all, yep, that gives us all the safety tech, right? We had to bundle it in, and that's what I was talking about. It's basically $2,500 to get all of that, and you know what? I want it. I want all of that, so we're going to go ahead and get the MKC technology package, and so that covers packages there, so we can go ahead and roll that up. Uh, wheels, I did like those 21-inch wheels. Remember that? Can we get those? Yeah, they're $1,145. Let's go ahead and get those wheels. I think they look very nice. Um, let's go ahead and close this one up as well. And then let's see what other exterior options there are. We have the Active Park Assist, Adaptive Suspension, because we got the all-wheel drive. We have the Bliss. We have the configurable daytime running lights. We have the Ford Sensing System. We've got the hands-free lift gate. We're all in the mix. Lane Keeping System. Let's throw these wheel locks in there for some added security, cheap security. Uh, the panoramic Vista sunroof, we even have that. So looks like we're, this vehicle is shaping up to be a lot of vehicle so far for what I think is a reasonable amount of money considering the class and all that there. All right, let's move on to interior. Well, we knew that uh, we were just going to select the black interior, and that's what we're going to do. What do we have down here next? Seat types. What do we have for seat types? The Bridge of Weir Deep Soft Leather Seating. We have that. Okay. What about interior options? A cargo area protector? Sure. Why not? 90 bucks. Uh, the front and rear uh, floor liners? Yep. I like those. They got the high sides on them. I like that. We got the heated and cool seats. Let's get a heated steering wheel. Isn't that part of a package? At the MKC uh, climate package, and doesn't seem like there's anything to remove. It says remove, but there's nothing underneath it. So based on that, well, it says it requires. Yeah, okay, let's uh, let's do that. Okay, I think we're safe. I think we're safe. Heated only front seats. Not. Nah. Uh, we have the voice activated navigation. What about our radio type? We should have the good stuff. We should have, yeah, the single CD, uh, MP3 uh, with nine speakers. Oh, we better do the audio upgrade, huh? We better do the audio upgrade. What's the audio upgrade down here first before we jump to the other ones? Let's do the enhanced THX certified audio system. And what's the Lincoln premium sound system? That seems like that's going to, yeah, that's going to remove that. Let's hit the info on that. And this gives us 
Right. The nine speakers and the Lincoln subwoofer. This doesn't sound like the premium upgraded system to me. Let's remove that. They're kind of not very clear on that. We have the Sync 3. Got it. Let's just go here and get this enhanced THX2. I Then I know for sure that we have the I, what I think is the good audio system. What I think is the good audio system. They weren't super, super clear on that. All right. Other than that, I think we might be ready to actually take a look at the accessories. Yeah, we are. Now, why they're showing us wheel locks again? I thought I already got wheel locks before. Uh, a vehicle cover, we don't need that. It's molded splash guards. I'm into the splash guards. I like that. It keeps the bottom of the car uh, uh, free of all the tar and all that stuff that gets stuck on the paint and ruins the body. So you got to they, they nickel and dime you. They don't do it as a whole set. They do front and rear individual. We won't buy those deflectors. They're very ugly on the screen. Interior accessories, I don't think we need any of this. Nope, 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 nope. Let's go to finish. All right. I'm going to go ahead and print this off so you can download this build summary. Let me do that first. Okay, so this is in the books. We got it. Our 2019 Lincoln MKC Reserve, we got it in black with black leather. Uh, we got the technology package, so that way we have all our safety and everything. The base MSRP, so they told us, started life at $44,175. And, well, we added about $5,600 in options and all that there. Uh, yeah, they've got it at just under $50,000, but, you know, the Internet prices are always different than what you're going to pay at the dealer. And that's why we don't spend a lot of time looking at it. But what we did do is learn everything we needed to learn about the 2019 Lincoln MKC Reserve, and we built and priced one. If you've made it all the way to the end, thank you. You're awesome. I appreciate you watching the whole video. That does matter. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Other than that, I'm going to tell you to have a wonderful day, and I'm going to see you on the very next